Hello and good evening. By the end of this session, I'm sure that we all are going to be a little drunk. And that's going to be fantastic because we are going to talk about nothing else but wine. Uh, we talk about Cersei Lannister or we talk about Hannibal Lecter. They are distinguished by their choice of wine. Wine industry in itself is a huge industry and wine making, wine tasting or wine enjoying is a science in itself. And today, I am happy to announce and we are fortunate that we have a wine expert with us. We have Suprakash Nashipuri with us. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you. Thanks for who having is, me. Thank you so much. Uh, who is a certified wine professional, a wine consultant. He has over 20 years of experience with some of the finest brands. He's a professional and academic experience. Uh, he has his experience in Germany, France, UK and USA. Presently, he is working as a cellar master and beverage supervisor at Michael Manjavi Wine Cellar. It's a boutique wine brand associated with Norwegian cruise line holding. Greatly influenced by working experience in Germany and France with multiple wineries, understanding history, tradition and wine practice, preparing for next level of wine certification. Thank you, Suprakash. And okay, so let's just get ready, get ready to get intoxicated. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for this fabulous uh, you know, interaction, Nana Manusri. And uh, I truly appreciate your time. Well, uh, yeah, you correctly mentioned this. Uh, it's not about only science, uh, but uh, it's all about, you know, history, tradition and culture. You know, it, it talks right. about and that actually attract me more. Now, um, I'm, a, uh, let me say again that, yes, uh, I'm a certified wine gig and uh, I started this journey in the way back in 2007. I was a pharmaceutical rep. So while doing those work, and I, when I said that a little bit, I decided to, uh, you know, hit my passion. So what I tried and I went to UK to study brewing first. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I did it from University of Sunderland and that was in 2010. Okay. And uh, uh, it took a while and then uh, I was trying to find out some uh, decent things over here and then I couldn't make it immediately. So. In 2013, you know, I uh, tried to do a real wine certification from UK again. So I went to London again and uh, I did enroll myself for Wine and Spirit Education Trust, which is the finest wine organization in the world. Right. Right. And uh, that's, that's a mother, mother uh, institute uh, in uh, UK. And uh, I did uh, pass in you know, a level two because yeah. the requisition of the prior requisition was like you should have at least the level one so since i had right. a background i did my academically uh, i did a master's in plant science so after you know so they they took me immediately to level two since i had an you know uh, earlier uh, science Experience. science background yeah yeah yes. yeah so um, I was lucky enough, I was only Indian and 19 Brits among oh. with me actually. Okay. So I was lucky enough to part with excellence and mm -hmm. uh, I was, uh, and that, that thrilled me a lot. And that gave me a, that gave me a lot of confidence, you know, what right. to do in my life, you know, I never looked back again. So after that, uh, LinkedIn, I'm not talking about the paid uh, in a version, the free version uh, did work for me absolutely mm -hmm. fantastically. Okay. You now I got connections on a several and uh, in a different part of the world and uh, particularly wine and and in 2013 I went to uh, Germany. Uh, I got my first internship job in Germany, one of the okay. finest wine region in the world, which is called Mosel, which is southwest of Germany. And uh, uh, I did spend around one year. And after that, I went to one more winery to work in Germany also. So there are two wineries I work in Germany, followed by I got an opportunity in France. Mm -hmm. uh, the working, uh, if you love champagne, you know, champagne as we can discuss later on, it's quite different from the sparkling wine. So uh, I got an opportunity to work in a boutique champagne brand as a marketing executive and promoting okay. their brand in U UAE and uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai market. 
so um after that in 15 and i moved to a different industry currently where i am right now and it started in 2015 i'm working as a seller master uh, with an origin cruise line and they do have a boutique brand based in napa valley in california Uh, Michael Mandavi wine cellar so i am the in charge and supervisor of that wine cellar uh, responsible not only for the training and supervising the beverage services in five star dining but also i actually uh, promote their brand you know taking care of uh, you know uh, consultant service and all those aspects so it's it's amazing and uh, I'm still learning. I don't. I don't consider myself that I'm a really a big stuff over here for when it comes to wine. I'm still learning and gain, gaining more knowledge, and meeting people, understand the uh, uh, different wine region because it's a huge science. Uh, you know, and uh, yeah. yeah, that's that's quite ex- exciting. Actually. Yeah, well, that's an amazing journey. You have been to uh, <laughs> Germany and then to US and everywhere, and you've been learning. And I'm sure that different cultural uh, aspects. Have Absolutely. given you a lot of input about different things. Absolutely. I mean, the perception, Absolutely. right from the history, right from literature, Absolutely. everything Correct. around wine must be Correct. really different from Germany to yes. France, wherever Absolutely. you have been till now. Absolutely. So I'm sure that uh, in the coming sessions and the coming conversations, we will learn more about it. But let's just sure. first understand about wine. So uh, I'll just ask you in a very simple term, in a very layman language, what is wine? Could you please okay. help so us understand me- that? Yeah. Absolutely, I'm with you. So, yeah. uh, if you talk about wine in in a one sentence, you can talk right. about that wine is a hmm. fermented grape juice. That's it. Right. Right. Okay. Now, so it's, yeah. if you explain, if you elaborate this, it could mm-hmm. take uh, several days. You know, I'm, if you I'm explain sure. this. Yeah. So, uh, it's it, it's all about not only about the science. Mm-hmm. It's all about history and a lot of philosophical aspects. It's all right. about the cultural event, historical aspects. You know, the the earlier wines actually there was a signature, and uh, like uh, it's 1100 century. You know, 1100 oh. BC actually. I'm sorry to okay. say it's 1100 BC. You know, wow. it's earlier when it's recorded actually. So it's the culture and our uh, history, and actually mostly based in you know Mediterranean uh, climate, yeah. Mediterranean region, and then it spread well you know different parts of the world. But there are a lot of you know different school of thoughts actually. The you know if you if you go to uh, Mediterranean region, if you been uh, to Israel, they will say we are the you know uh, inventor of wine. You know wine started from here. So mm-hmm. uh, the, it, it's a matter of of you know different discussions but uh, for the time being i would say that uh, yes it's a huge subject uh, but a very simplified way you can talk about it's a fermenting grape juice it's not only alcoholic beverage but it's all about history culture and tradition to understand a glass of wine can uh, you know make yourself like a philosopher or a glass oh. of wine can make you another uh, science scientist also you know yeah i'm looking forward uh, to, a, 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 to, to to uh, yeah to an interesting <laughs> conversation over two glasses exactly, of wine exactly of course exactly yeah. exactly yeah yeah i can just keep watching a painting and you know analyze the art with wine i just always when wine comes to our mind some somewhere like art is a counterpart of it it comes to us yes Yes. Yeah, it's a so lively thing actually. You know, uh, sniffing a glass of wine when you're sniffing, there are in a parts you could actually talk about the region where it comes from. That we do actually being a certified sommelier, being a sommelier, you know, just we do the blind tasting to talk mm-hmm. about the terroir, which is all right. about the soil, micro and macro climate. So you talk about the climatic condition, can talk about the soil. you can talk about the viticulture which is the wine making aspects you can talk mm-hmm. about the enological aspect which is uh, you know uh, wine growing and wine making aspects so there are a lot of aspect you can talk about just just smelling wine and tasting wine now how wow. weird is that you know so but it's trust me that's and then apart from your healthy tips trust me the wine mm-hmm. is the most healthiest you know beverage that you mm-hmm. can enjoy you know uh, it depends on the uh, what style you select but it can it has got a lots of healthy benefit being especially if you talk about the red wines because okay. it has a lot of anti cholesterol agents mm-hmm. yeah antioxidants yeah okay lovely 
Um, okay, so that you have told us in a nutshell that what is wine, and yeah. uh, of course we need an elaborate lesson of several layers. Yeah. But sure. um, if I have to choose wine, like uh, how do I go about it? And absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. So, let me let me uh, let me uh, listen to you first. And what's your approach? No, so um, if I have to choose a wine, a red wine, mm-hmm. uh, sparkling wine. then how do i go about choosing it for an occasion uh, for example if it's my birthday i have friends over how do i go about it okay very nice question uh, the first of all it's all about your mood first mm-hmm. of all okay it's all about your mood and it's very subjective right. a expensive bottle of wine could be worthless for you or could be uh, absolutely and you can just get it but that depends on that what's your mood and what's the occasion now mm-hmm. being a newcomer to wine i if you love red wine you know there are uh, let me talk about the different parts of wine so there you have got a red wine you have got a white wine which is considered as a steel wine mm-hmm. you have got a sparkling wine sparkling and champagne comes a one category Okay. then you have got you have got a rosé styles of wine which is also under uh, steel wine actually now okay. you have got one more style which is called the fortified wine so this is Sorry, the what is it make wine it's called fortified wine fortified wine okay yes okay. correct so fortified okay. wine is like when you are making a steel wine the red white or rosé if you add cognac or brandy if you add spirits Okay. 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 What will happen? You are actually enhances level of spirit. So that's a different cluster of okay. category uh, of okay. wine, which is called fortified, because you are doing a fortification. Okay. Hmm. So this is the part of wine, and uh, the last, not the least, you have got a wine called a vermouth. So that's a different styles of wine. But okay. in generally, when we enjoy wine, usually we enjoy the steel wine, apart from sparkling. Hmm. right mm-hmm. now being a newcomer if you select uh, as you mentioned the birthday so starting right. from your day when you wake up from your bed yeah. you are going to a, a perfect destination to celebrate your birthday i would always enjoy you know when i you know in holidays you know i always enjoy with a glass of nice sparkling or champagne so it's always right. lovely see champagne and sparkling as a kind of drinks and you know, you can enjoy whole drink Okay, so it doesn't contain too much of alcohol. It's very easy to drink. Okay. Uh, it's a less calorie. You have got a less calorie also, mm-hmm. and uh, very very uh, aromatic style. Now, right. apart from sparkling with champagne, and you can enjoy a nice glass of rosé if it is a hot sunny day or okay. the lovely winter sunny. Uh, if you talk oh. about the Indian in a world, we belong like Kolkata. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it's like a hot, and you are sweating quite a lot. Yeah. A little bit of rosé or sparkling is fantastic to fantastic. start your day. Okay, okay. Now it depends on the meal. So if you are doing an Indian meal, so you mm. do you know, Sri, you need to do a lot of experiments. because when it comes to indian food mm. it's all about the spices and masalas you know you have a complex yeah. aroma right so you need to tackle with the those stuff so you mm. have to keep the wine a little bit of simple and to to tackle you know counter those aspects so you need okay. to keep on experiment what you like as i mentioned your palate is different and my, uh, like mine That's so different, yeah. it's very subjective it's very right. subjective so usually if you are doing a fish or lighter softer lighter you know mm-hmm. stuff and like fish or any vegetarian dish mm-hmm. you could stick with uh, you know white and right. uh, when right. you are doing a little bit of meat or heavier style of meat you can select the red wine right. now right. being a wine comer irrespective of your birthday or any other day being a newcomer if you if you love red wine start with a, a lighter version of red wine Okay. I would not recommend someone to go with a heavy, full-bodied red wine. Mm-hmm. With my, you can feel like a bitter, strong, astringent because of tannin. Okay, okay. so uh, 
The wine uh, in that conditions, you know, keep it simple like the Pinot Noir. It's a finest grape variety, very elegant, very classy and velvety grape variety. Originally, uh, it comes from the France, Burgundy. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Indian uh, climate doesn't allow to grow Pinot Noir, although there are lots of vineyards based in Bangalore and Masik and, and you find that they are, you know, I, I, I cannot mention about uh, how they are, you know, I never tried. Trust yeah, yeah, me. Now, yeah. uh, the thing is that uh, the Pinot Noir is a very easy and softer lighter you can try always. And uh, if you like it, then stick on it and then you upgrade slowly, a little bit of heavier style. Okay. And uh, that's the way you should go. And then okay. if you love the white wine, uh, it depends on the game that style. White wine, remember one thing is that it's, it doesn't have uh, too much of uh, tanning because white wine comes from uh, the white grapes. Okay. Just to mention that the red wine comes from the red grapes okay. and the white wine comes from white grapes. Okay. okay. Now, the white, the color, what is the color behind? What is the secret of the color of the red wine? The color is always, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, hidden into the grape skin. Hmm. Now, if you peel the skin of the grape and if you press it, you will get it white juice. Okay. So what the people do, the winemaker, they keep the juice while pressing the grapes, while making the wine, they keep the grapes along with the skin to do the fermentation. So the color extraction happens, the wine becomes, the juice becomes red and you add yeast, which actually makes the wine. Fermentation. Now, okay. Uh, okay. The, Yes, fermentation. So, as, yeah. uh, as just for viewers, I, I I would like to mention that what is the basic chemistry of the wines? Like you have the sugar, which is the grape juice, right. and you add yeast. Okay, so yeast actually ferments the sugar. You have got a wine, alcohol, and then carbon dioxide goes up. So that's yeah. the simple okay. stuff. It's a chemistry okay. equation. So yeah. the same way for the white wine, since you have the white grapes and you do not have the color containing skin. So naturally you actually separate the white skin and the skin of the grapes and then you continue, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, fermentation with the grape juice. So, okay. uh, but coming to your question again, it absolutely depends on your mood, your right. style, your food selection mm -hmm. and uh, that to people to whom, you know, you are get along with, you know, it depends on all, okay. all matters. I Everything really have matters. to make a chart and see what my mood is about. I have, I have what <laughs> food I can manage, and depending Absolutely. on that, Absolutely. oh my god, that's so much work. You, but you still, cannot, I you love cannot the do idea. it. Yeah, you cannot do it in rush while yeah. enjoying wine. So trust me, yeah. it's it's different. I had a, I had a very uh, a kind of experience while I was in uh, actually Mannheim. It's a fine, southwest city of uh, Germany. Okay. And then uh, I was doing kind of seminar and then suddenly that I saw the people are going rushing for the restaurants for the lunch. And then I saw they are drinking a bottle of wine in lunch and then I asked them, hey guys, how come you, you know, how can you actually afford to enjoy a bottle of wine in the midday? Yeah. And still you guys are working and you have to join back. They say, see, hmm. this is German wine because German wines are, the beauty of German wine is the level of alcohol is always okay. down. Okay, okay, so okay. you'll find like six, seven percent of alcohol. It's like a drinking a glass of beer. Yeah, okay. so okay. that's quite easy to enjoy the German yeah. wine. Uh, okay. You know, uh, that's why the sparkling wine comes and sparkling mm. wine also usually the, the alcohol levels usually come. So Very low. Their okay. calorie concerns, you know how German people, German yeah. are, are yeah. they are quite athletic. They are very fit person. Yeah, and, very strong. Uh, that, that changed my entire idea. Absolutely, it changed my mind actually. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's very interesting. Um, okay, yeah. so now we know what wine is and how to go about choosing a wine by calculating different factors. Now, Correct. what about one needs to go into the field? Uh, is very fascinated with this concept and mm -hmm. uh, wants to choose this as, as a profession in India. Mm -hmm. Because um, well, when we talk about India, you're talking about Germany, France. Yes, of course, they have a different level of um, yeah. uh, wine-loving people there. But how about yeah. somebody from India wants to go about it and make a career out of it? So what would be your suggestion to that person? Yes, uh, it's changing quite a lot now. now when I started uh, 15 years back, it was a completely different scenario. And then I haven't had an option to do it in India. 
but I will still recommend it. Somebody can manage. You know, right. always it is good to go for international wine studies like UK. We uh, some one of the finest for. But there are a lot of institutions in India. They are actually organizing uh, this uh, education. So there are two interesting and the most popular institute or organization. One is called WSET. W S E T. This is Wine and Spirit Education Trust. Okay. Based in UK, but they have a franchise in global. You know. And uh, another one is. Uh, CMS, which is called Certified Board of Masters Sommelier. Now, this is also based in UK, but they again, they have the franchise in global. Now, if somebody is selecting, uh, uh, like by profession, they want to come into the hospitality and food and beverage yeah. industry, uh, I would recommend highly to select CMS. Which is code of master sommelier so it has got okay. a, like a four levels level one level two level three and the level four so okay. uh, i'm preparing for level three actually now uh, i'm actually uh, a code of master sommelier i belong to that organization but earlier as i mentioned in 2010 i did it uh, w set also so if you are interested, apart from working in beverage industry or food and beverage industry, to work in, uh, if you want to become a viticulturist, that is wine growing business, or you want to make wine, which is called the enologist. Okay. So WSET would be the proper way to move forward. Okay. Now right. in India, I know that you will get it maximum like a, a level three for the W set also has got a four level, level one, two, three. Okay. Then, and the level four, level four is called diploma. Mm -hmm. And then that for that probably you need to attend in UK. So just okay. to, uh, you know, give your, you know, uh, attend your final exam. Now, once you finish that W set or uh, uh, CMS, now you have got a further an um, upgradation of um, your education, which is the highest, highest level of wine education, which is called MW or Master of Wine. So it's a five years, it's like medical or engineering in India. Okay. okay? It's a five years, yeah. very, very regressive uh, course. You know, regressive yeah. course. Yeah. And then once you do it and uh, you will be, you know, you are the master of wine. So okay. So that's it. Now I met uh, just uh, coming to the I met a, a couple of interesting personalities in the United States, and uh, I met some of uh, Jennifer. Uh, she is a fabulous master of wine, and she used to work for HSBC. You know, okay. and uh, she was absolutely completely a different organization, you know, industry, you know, banking. Uh, but uh, in 2005, she took a, a trip to Bordeaux in France, okay. which is a one, I guess, again, a finest wine uh, region with uh, her parents. And uh, that changed her life completely. She decided to go for the wine and she decided, okay, this is going to be my life mm -hmm. now. Okay. So uh, by within a span of th four years, she became a diploma and then she finished her master of wine by 2014 mm. and 15 i suppose so she is now a global ambassador of uh, uh, moet and chandon okay so yeah, she is working globally you know she is actually advising all the viticulturists all lectures globe you know what to grow yeah. with, with that particular soil so okay. these are the career aspect right. for the if you complete that w set mm -hmm. but where i am I'm into a more uh, practical world, mm -hmm. which is called uh, hospitality, okay, SMB right. industry. So I do advise like beverage, uh, you know, services. I I do, uh, you know, train people in the restaurants and uh, hotel uh, to become more efficient, you know, and more productive in the world mm. comes to wine, suggesting wine. It's a big part. So my designation like the sommelier. So sommelier is a kind of things like a person who actually suggests wine while Anushri is going for a fine wine dinner uh, for either French or Italian, you know, things. So yeah. that's my right. job, you know, actually. Okay. So yeah. you have got the two aspects, two yeah. career options. Either mm -hmm. you go to a field, work on the floor, like right. FNB industry, or you can go a more elaborative way, working with the viticulturist or become a winemaker 
podcast. Thank yeah. you so much for clearly dividing these two categories, and I'm sure Thank whoever you. is Thank listening will be really happy to know, and they can find more, uh, can contact you for sure, and <laughs> sure, absolutely, <laughs> and take your advice. my pleasure. I would love to know, absolutely. Okay, and uh, last but not the least, any more health tips uh, for for people who consume wine or uh, yeah. any kind of tips, uh, pairing or anything that you would like to say before we say bye to our viewers. Okay, let me talk about the health health tips first. Let me go for the health. Actually, wine is uh, to me is the most healthiest beverage. Actually, actually, if you means uh, if you talk about the alcohol. Uh, as per the american heart association which suggests that uh, moderate moderation hmm. for the hmm. drinking you know right uh, two glasses of wine uh, for the men two glasses of wine every day that means you are doing like uh, you know uh, that that would be fine for the ladies is like something like the one glass of wine every day that okay. that is fine now you could have like your cheat day also Mm-hmm. that doesn't beat but uh, try to restrict it within three glasses you know okay. uh, of wine but i do understand sometimes we just you know blow you know you know we just fly yeah. you know that's okay that's absolutely that's okay that's once in a while that's sure, okay yeah yes so but make sure you should have a dry day you know mm-hmm. uh, yeah. maybe a couple of dry days or sure. always remember to drink water every glass of wine you consume try to have at least 250 ml of water Okay, yeah. so after so each will... glass of wine, I'm supposed to have 250 ml of water before Absolutely. the next that's, glass of wine. That's that's okay. that's a recommendation by American Heart Association. Okay. 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 Now the for the red wines and the white wines, uh, they contains a lot of flavonoid components, and they mm-hmm. actually fight for the anticlers. You know, they work for an anticlar surgeon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, there is a course of time. There is a beautiful flavonoid component, which is a pigment of the anthocyanin for the red wine. Uh, uh, you know, it helps to tone your skin. okay so mm-hmm. these are the lot of aspects you know that people can linger on to understand uh for the white wine yes yes absolutely then they have uh, they have a less tannin or flavonoids but yes there are a lot of antioxidant properties okay. so for in terms of health are concerned the it's a moderation is the key and then you okay. can enjoy okay 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 yeah. okay i get yeah moderation is the key i get that <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh now very it's 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 I'm just so enticing like I would go and do my research more on the subject and I'm sure that you're here to help us all of us here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so I, absolutely because it's difficult you know uh in India it's really difficult to uh you know select a nice bottle of wine actually my pocket ca- uh, cannot allow that hmm, you know hmm. i i cannot afford those expensive wines in india because what i can get it in us for 30 yeah. you know you'll, the landing price in india would be 120 dollars so you can yeah. imagine the how costly it is so yes. uh looking into the self uh, but uh, yes you can definitely select you have got the white spectrum there are a lot of good wines are coming from argentina and chile Uh, okay. a couple of you know uh, southern part of italy particularly mm-hmm. sicily uh, you know uh, there are a lot of good wines you know affordable price and uh, when it comes to indian uh, wines yes there are a couple of nice wineries in india select go ahead and just experiment uh, because you need to experience you can love your wine yeah, and then yeah. you understand this works for me really well and for i sure. want to surprise i want to surprise my viewers or you know <laughs> your yeah your <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure so okay i'm up for all the experimentation but in moderation as you said <laughs> so absolutely. absolutely okay okay thank, thank you so yeah. much thank you so much for all your tips and looking pleasure. forward to learn more from you thank you so much anishi thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank take you. care have a nice day cheers bye you too bye